just want to do a quick tutorial on actions in Photoshop. So I'm after doing a lot of product images here for a client and you can see we have them all looking nice and consistent and even. But what I want to do is I just want to reduce the file size because you can see what we're looking at here now at the moment is about a, a ten, between 7 and 11 kind of megabytes in size per image. That's far too much for a mobile site or for, for a website. So what we want to do is we just want to reduce it down and they're looking for something around the 200 kilobyte range. That's perfect for a website and it's more than enough picture to kind of give a good 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 view of the image but what we want to do is we don't want to have to go in and do it for every single one of these pictures we just want to do it to one so what we're going to do is we're going to set up an action so we're just going to have to we, what we'll do is re, we'll record what we're doing this time around and then we'll basically play the same thing for all of our, the rest of our images so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up a new action here and just if you're looking for your actions if you don't see them windows or your window and actions are alt and f9 and you have a couple of options here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start recording a new, save web 200 kilobyte today. And what I'm gonna do is, you can see here we have the record button going, and basically it's gonna record everything that I do between now and the time I hit the stop button next to it. So what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm gonna change my image size. So image, image size, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it 1,000 kilobyte or 1,000 pixels high. So that's fine. And I'm going to then save it. But I want to save. It's still gonna be kind of big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save it with as a as a smaller size, and I'm gonna save it into a different location as well. So if I just go up one folder, and um, you can see I've done a bit of work here already. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go new folder. It's gonna load up and save tiny web, 200 kilobytes. Perfect, so what we wanna do is we wanna save in there, and we're gonna save with the same file name. And what I'm gonna do though, you can see here that it's still running a bit big, it's still up 646 kilobytes. I'm gonna reduce this down maybe to like seven or eight, somewhere around there should be, eight should be perfect, 222 kilobytes is gonna be fine. And we're gonna okay that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close. So once I stop here, everything that we've got here is part of Save Web 200 kilobytes today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Bridge, and you can see here our pictures in here. We click on it, and our information 205 kilobytes. So that's perfect. So I'm going to go back into my high res images, and I'm going to select everything. Hold down the Shift key, and I'm going to go back up into Tools, Photoshop and batch and what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to use my actions so save web 200 kilobytes today is the last action that i used so that's perfect and what i want to do is okay that so basically it's going to run through you'll see here they'll probably just pop up for a second and gone it moved through it so quickly and it saves you going through all of those actions by yourself so if i go back into bridge and i go into save tiny web 200 kilobytes you can see they're all popping up in here so because that's white the lighter the color is, the less information basically that's required of the image. So white's really tiny, but if we pick a darker image, there's an awful lot more information there. So these, like I mean, these are all, they're all the same, they're all the same quality. And if we go in, this is this is the image uh, as it'll be seen on the internet. So that that's perfect. That's more than enough for the website. So we're happy with that. So that's a batch anyway. That's, that's how we set up an action and run a batch. So this is gonna just keep on working away on these. It's gonna keep on getting through them. And we will be done in no time. So yeah, that's that's actions. Um, absolutely brilliant way to just increase your workflow and, sp and speed it up.